Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Don't be distracted. I'm gonna set up, I finally decided it's time to set up a new deck. I'm swapping out my, my illusion for a new illusion. I think it's time, dude. Look at that, boom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one with the Gons grip tape on my Etsy side, I figure it's like a piece of art, man. It's all grinded up. It is a piece of art, man. Maybe someone will be lucky enough to purchase it and put it on their wall. Anyway, uh, I was, uh, oh, this one's for Owl. I can't use that one. And, uh, I've been, uh, It's a tough weekend, people, and I made it. I made it through the weekend, and I'm having like this, this is sort of a mental Magic Monday video, though it's Sunday night, and uh, I realized that like, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right, dude. You know, the, uh, this experience, has really been next level with the Tapatio grip tape, right? Has really been next level radical, man. And uh, I have to admit this weekend, I, I was feeling pretty low. And it's not like, a, it's just this ebb and flow energy, man, like, but I, I really was, I was really feeling pretty down about it all Saturday and I did pretty good today, but you know, just feeling the loss, man, the, uh, the loneliness, the, uh, the reality of no, no going back, like the die has been cast type of deal. And, you know, and, and, and in that, you know, I, I have to ask myself some real deep questions about like, who I am and what I'm all about and all of this kind of stuff. And I was sitting here tonight, man, right? I was sitting here putting coffee mugs into boxes and I sold some art today. And I realized that like, I'm a legit human being, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I got the, the, you know, I, I, hey, look, man, I got my own issues, dude. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm, I'm just another human being. I'll always state that, but like in the, in the, uh, pantheon of human beings, like I'm a good catch. I'm a good dude. Yeah. I'm, I may be like a little bit funky and out there and have some, have some depression and issues and alcoholism and you know, be stubborn and demanding and all this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, man, I was realizing I had to go through the whole process this weekend, right? Like I, I made it, I made it Sunday night, man. I made it like I made it through the weekend and went through all the stuff. I sat here Saturday completely like alone and bummed and questioning myself, but I didn't fight it. I just checked it out, man. And, and, um, and so here I am like Sunday, I didn't know I would end up here Sunday night. And what I guess I'm getting at is this, I realized that I'm sitting here believing in myself enough. I'm sitting here making art. I don't know if anyone's going to buy it. People bought some this weekend. It was pretty rad. I sold three pieces this weekend, which was super reassuring and um i'm boxing up coffee cups and i'm um people sent some people sent some uh some the uh get sober stop watching the illusion sticker ideas dude that are pretty pretty epic and and so i realized that like i'm like a legit human being man like in the sense of like not many human beings can sit and actually truly believe in themselves enough 
to believe in themselves, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm sitting here like, I, I got, I don't know, the weight of the world, right? Sort of, and in a weird way. I was sitting here and I was thinking about like, my, the hologram has no doubt in her mind, like Al will be 100% taken care of by me when she dropped him off today. She knows, has no doubt about it, that when she picks him up on Friday at, from school at one o'clock, like he's gonna be fine because we won't communicate between now and then, right? I've made that super clear, zero communication, right? So, and I, and I realized that like, that's a pretty powerful thing to be like, as a human being, like, like I know myself well enough to know that I'm like a fully like rad dad committed to the core, like super 100% on it. So on it that I'm going to sit here and like box up coffee cups and make art to like be with my son during the day. People are always like, what do you do for a job? That's my job. Raising my son and, and, and making sure he doesn't get swept away by the, this new reality that the world's experiencing through all these phones and bad food and that's not what this this is about this is about like getting through the storm and realizing you know I'll still have off days about what went down and the whole thing and but realizing that like it's about to get super radically good like in a big way in a way I can't even imagine in a way I can't even imagine. Like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like, dude, I'm putting grip tape on a deck that has my art on it, right? Like that's in itself an incredible, an incredible thing. And what I'm get, I guess what I'm getting at is, is I was pretty down and out Saturday, like bummed. And here I am Sunday and I made it through the thing. And why I keep saying that is like, I didn't know Saturday when I was super bummed about it all that I would feel the way I feel, as hopeful as I feel about the future right now. I was in the shower and I was like, wait a minute, I am a unique, special, beautiful human being who deserves to be loved, honored, and cherished. <laughs> and I don't need to doubt myself anymore. I was doubting myself pretty hard Saturday about like who I am as a human being. And I've re I realized tonight that I stuck by my integrity. Like I know I got a gnarly journey ahead of me. But I stayed true to something deeper inside. And like if you really knew what went down, you'd be like, wow, this dude's been pretty cool about the whole thing. You know, I haven't been perfect at all, but I haven't really done anything too crazy. Like in spite of it all, a lot of dudes have been going off the deep end. I've, I've actually held pretty steady. And I realized that this thing we're doing, like I was in the shower amazed at this, this YouTube thing I do. Like, I don't really think about it. You have to understand, like, I don't think about it. I just got the craziest email from this, this young man who, like, called me for advice about some crazy stuff that went down with his girlfriend. And I gave him, like, the 30-day program. And he's like, dude, it's, like, working. And, like, see, I don't... I don't really know what happens on the other side of the lens. I get crazy emails, people telling me all sorts of cool things I've helped them out with and I've done this and I've done that. Yet a lot of the, like most of the time, it's just me sitting here by myself 
talking to an iPhone. Like, it's very odd. And yet tonight it like hit me like, whoa, dude, like what, what I'm doing is radical to the point of believing in myself to like have it like sustain my life force. Like I think for a long time, I just, I just did it cause I do it. And I, I, it shifted where like, I'm like, I'm doing this cause like I want to live. I want to live, man. I'm fully invested in the future of my reality because, like, I don't want to settle for mediocre, man. I don't want to settle for just the mundane. No way, dude. It's, it's, it's written on the New Hampshire license plate, man. Live free or die, dude. And that's what I'm all about, like... You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm super, like, I'm super bummed that, that the girls left, that the hologram and minigram have chosen to go their own way. They left. I'm a, I'm a gnarly dude. You're, there's not many people like me out there on spaceship earth, man. And, and that's what I realized. Like, it's tough to be a unicorn, man. It really is tough to be a unicorn. And uh, and but I am. I'm a super gnarly radical unit multi-dimensional unicorn. And you know what's about to happen? I don't know when or how, like the most radical unicorns coming my way. Like I realized that this weekend that like the next cha chapter of this whole thing is going to get so rad. And, and I realized it with this thing of like, God's using me to be an example that you can overcome anything in this life if you're willing to have faith and believe in yourself. Because believing in yourself isn't just believing in yourself, man. It is absolutely like believing in yourself. When I sit and do my art and order these stickers and do these things and make these videos like it's coming from a pretty deep deep place of like just going for it man and i'm getting on the other side of this thing i've been going through for ah, it's going to be 90 days here pretty soon and and i don't know there's always something magical about the 90 day window on it all like if you can get 90 days man Like a lot, like you've got 90 days, man. Three months, dude. Like, I hung in there, man. I've truly like hung in there beyond my own understanding. Like I went and I took a shower and I was looking at owls sleeping. They're all calm and peaceful. Not, a, not worried about anything, really. I mean... He's a little bummed about the whole situation, but I mean, he's not, he's not worried about anything. And I go, I provide that, that reality for him, for that human being. Like that's rad. And I'm doing it with coffee cups and Sharpie pens and this like iPhone with like poorly framed videos talking about weird my weird life and overcoming the obstacles of my weird life. It's pretty heavy, man. And then I, I'm realizing that like something gnarly's coming my way. Something good, man. Like I had to like, I had to clear, I guess I had to clear out 
those who weren't who weren't going to be able to make the journey to the top of the mountain, man. Like I, I like I, there's a part of me that's super sad about it. I think I kind of, but I go, I, I've been ta- I think I've been taking the brunt of it, like internally, like, you know, like oh woe is me a little bit, not woe is me, but like, like feeling bad about myself. And today, this evening, I got in the shower and I was like, dude, you're a unicorn, bro. You're a super gnarly, magical unicorn. I'm feeling it, man. I'm fired up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a new deck for myself. Because when I go skating with the bird, you know, I was watching that uh, wrap it up this video. It's going a little long, but I was... uh watching that video some some of the videos i shot of owl following me on his bike right and i was like i think i was sort of amazed i was watching him follow me right and i'm like dude that's my boy just like where are we going dude following me into the bowls on his little scooter dude going for it and I'm like, that's rad. Like, I realized something this weekend too is, is I heard somebody say it Friday night at a meeting I went to was, don't miss the small miracles, man. Don't miss the small miracles. And, I, and I'm, you have to be understand, like I'm super like hyper aware. And yet, like I've been present, like, present like as a present now out person for my son's entire like life and it's a blur dude like I remember days checking in with myself just being super present and like I don't really remember him anymore it's a blur dude it's like three and a half years and so I was I was sitting there with him tonight like we were riding around and I was like That's why I'm not going to the job site. That's why I'm like, I'm not giving up on the dream to like pay for this with YouTube and art and skateboards and stickers because like, I'm not missing that. I'm not missing, I'm not missing it. I'm not missing life, man. No way, dude. We all have an opportunity here. And it's becoming clearer and clearer, dude. We can't have anyone boat anchoring us. If you're not, if you're not down to row the lifeboat towards the island, then get off the lifeboat, right? I'm rowing it towards the island, dude. And I know a lot of the high frequency tribes out there is rowing towards the island too, man. So we got to be super hopeful. Like, I'm telling you, like, this weekend, I made a bunch of videos this weekend, and it was weird. They wouldn't post, they wouldn't upload, because I mean, I'm glad they didn't now, because they were pretty kind of dark. I took, I, but I was just had to communicate with something. Look, man, it's super serious, this life thing we got going on here. And we can't waste any of it. But we also got to realize that we're going to waste it. Like, it's just this weird thing, man. So we gotta, we just gotta get up, man. We just gotta get up and keep moving forward, people. We gotta keep rowing towards that island, dude. All of us unicorns, we gotta keep rowing to the enchanted island over there, man. I see the rainbow. I see the rainbow shooting out of that island. We all just gotta keep rowing this boat, man. Keep rowing this boat. And just, you know, I just thank everyone who supports this channel, man, and who sends me encouraging emails. Dude, it blows my mind. Don't think I don't, I might not reply sometimes, dude, because it just gets lost in the thing. But I read them all, dude. And they're gnarly, man. I gotta say, dude, the five frequency tribes, radical, dude. We're a, we're a really lucky accumulation of radical people somehow connected via this weird youtube thing man so i'm super grateful i'm super fired up man monday's rad let's let's knock it out of the ballpark this week people because i know most of you are going to be watching this on monday dude let's get fired up man
Let's just, let's just, let's keep rowing to the island, dude. This is one unicorn to the rest of you unicorns out there. Yeah. Get fired up, man. Get fired up. It's real. You're real. We're all okay, man. We're doing this. Yeah, we are. All right, this is The Illusion signing off, man. Hey, we're all in this together. Life's a team sport. All right? Love you guys.